Okay, so what we'll look at now in Workflow Max is another way of speeding up the efficiency of running your jobs and projects. So we're going to look at what's called job templates within the system. So I'll just load up um, Workflow Max again. So as we mentioned before in a couple of videos, uh, you've got the jobs area here and you can book new jobs in. Um, also in the admin area, you do have job categories, uh, which can be used to break things down for reporting, and also job templates. So within job templates here, uh, again, I'm in my design company, um, I've got a couple of templates in here. So I've got a brochure template and a corporate branding template. What these allow you to do is put tasks and costs against a job um, that are similar for each time that you use them. So if corporate branding is one of the things that you offer and you do it fairly regularly, you can save a template that will then uh, save you time having to fill out the same tasks every single time. So we need a few things. We need a template name. We can give it a description. It's not required though. Um, I'll just put a description in here uh, just so you can see where it flows through to. Obviously I'll change that each time. Um, job category. If we have set categories, you can then allocate the template to that category. Um, again, just to make it a little bit easier so you always pick the right one. Um, folders, if you have bigger projects that need to be managed up into folders. Um, job cost options, either estimated or actual. Uh, there's a lot more about that in the help file. And then milestones, tasks, and costs. So here we've got costs of an illustrator, and we've got the tasks that we will do within this job. So I'll save this back for now. And I'll show you how that looks from the other end. So if I now go to jobs and book a new job, um, if you've watched the video before about custom fields, you'll notice these here again. So if I pick uh, my client and just here, I'll pick corporate branding. And now notice that my descriptions come straight through. And if I just save this, then I've got a job set up with all of my tasks and uh, any costs and everything else all within the job ready to go. So all I have to do here is now go in and add any to do's within the tasks or change the times uh, to match what they're going to be. So it's really, really useful just for saving a whole heap of time when you're booking jobs. One other thing to note as well, um, if I go to the job manager, I'll go back into an old job that I've got here. Um, if you've built a job up, so I've got this one here, uh, that I've done some work on and I think this is quite useful, I can just go options and then save job as template. So if you've made some jobs up and you use them time and time again, um, you can save these back um, and then you'll be able to use them again. One thing to note there, obviously, this information like client and job number, that doesn't save back to the template. So obviously you can use this uh, template on other clients as well. That's not one of the areas that saves. But now if I go back to my job templates, and I've now got a building referred one, which was the job that I just saved, and it's pulled all the information back, include any, including any default time against it as well. So that's job templates, a really useful little area to help speed up. Um, one quick note as well, there's also a lead template. It's basically exactly the same thing, it's just on a lead, not a job. So hopefully that's been useful for you.